So, I asked you lot if you've got any questions for me through my community tub not too long ago. And I received quite a bunch of good questions, some of which ranges from business related stuff, gaming, personal and even life advice, which you guys make me feel special, the fact that you're asking for some life advice coming from me. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get straight to the point. Give me some of that power! So. David Flames edit. I wanted to know at the start of your GMV journey, what was it like? Was there any challenges you faced and how did you handle it? The beginning of my GMV journey it was really after I finished A levels. I worked as an independent sales consultant in the capital city of Wales. In other words, I was just a salesman. It was just another fancy ass title they gave us. <laughs> and then I wanted to try marketing as a job so that I could learn something and maybe benefit from it for my YouTube channel. Oh boy, was I shocked to find out that this job literally consisted of me waking up five in the morning and then when we get to work, we'd set up a stand outside in the city and interact with the public on selling a product. Then I'd arrive home by 8 in the evening and I just wouldn't have the energy in me to do anything. All I ended up doing was watching Netflix after a long day's work. I'd remember I'd have bloodshot eyes by the end of each day because I was always outside in the cold, getting rejected by the people passing by from the product we were pitching. Every time I'd walk home to the train station after work, it was night time at this point, I'd tear up a little, thinking how miserable I would be if I continued to do this all my life. But after looking at my financial position and observing all my peers going to university, I decided to quit that job to focus 100% of my attention in building this YouTube channel, Jacker's Edit. I didn't go to university. I didn't try find another side job, in fact I quit a part time job as a videographer for weddings. But my calling was higher, I would rather work hard on building up my YouTube channel than put the same level of effort and hard work for someone else. How did I handle these challenges that came to my journey? You can go watch this vlog, how to find your life purpose. Surely. Susan Rodriguez, it says, did you learn your talents through school? Or are you self-taught? That's a good question because even after school, we continue to learn. Now, for me, when it came to my talent, I learned most of it outside of school. When I was in school though, I just knew I had to do the bare minimum to pass my grades. So while I was doing that, I was also working on my own talents. But after finishing school, my talents developed even further on. Now the thing is, when you are focusing on your talents, you tend to put half your effort in getting an acceptable grade. Because for me, I found that to be the case. I was never an A grade student, but a C grade. And so when I finished school, I had all the time in the world to develop my talents even further on. Rifki Ariputra Reidi. Excuse me if I said that incorrectly. What made you interested in making a GMV channel? I've always been into gaming as a child and I always like watching YouTube videos. So when I saw all these YouTubers growing their channels and making a living out of it, I thought to myself how cool it would be to make my own channel and upload my own videos so that hopefully in the future, I would be just that of what I dreamt of becoming. In other words, I had a vision of myself and I pursued it. Now I can't say I never thought I'd be here because I did. I had a vision and I went straight for it. And I'm very fortunate. I think it has a lot to do with the location I'm in, the people I choose to surround myself with, and the information that I consume online and offline. Skillo47 asked, what got you to do such amazing GMV videos? Like my personal favorite is GMV Wolves. Through trials and errors. Now I've been making GMV since 2011 and I've basically familiarized myself in editing in the most efficient way possible. For example, today a project would only take me two hours. Meanwhile, 
in the past, it would take me two days or even two weeks, depending on how slow my computer was back then. Nowadays, I do have the best computer around and I'm able to make videos very fast. Green Scenery said, I immediately became a fan of yours after watching Numb and effects having 12 million views two years back. You're indeed a man of culture. What inspired you to have such cultural thoughts? GMV Numb is in fact my most popular video on a channel. Now to answer your question, cultural thoughts, it has a lot to do with the song used and the overall theme that I gave it. That's why I specifically choose the thumbnail and footages that I use there. Zedro, he asked, what motivates you when life knocks you down? That's a good question, I like that. Very serious. So what motivates Clyde when life knocks him down? Well, I get up. The question is, how do you get up? Well, how do you see the world? Because the way I see it, there are three things I believe everyone should focus on in life. And it's these three things that will help you get up when life knocks you down. These three factors are your health, wealth, and relationships. If you can get good at all three, then you can get good at facing any obstacles, any challenges, and any adversities you face in life. Being deficient in any one of these three, for example, you lack money, then you will also lack your health and relationships. Why? Because all three are directly linked to each other. For example, if you lack money, then it will negatively affect your mental health because you're constantly worried about paying the next bill. And it will also negatively affect your relationships with people because you keep asking money from them and then they end up cutting you out of their life. And so what motivates Clyde when life knocks him down? I remind myself that I have a purpose to work on all three factors in life, health, wealth, and relationships. Vexer asked, what challenges did you face during this ongoing pandemic and what did you do to overcome them? I never really faced any huge challenges when everything went into lockdown. If anything, I saw a huge opportunity instead because I already worked at home. Traveling, relying on a job and being somewhere was never an issue. Now, I did face one challenge though, and that was I felt like I wasn't going getting anywhere in life. Even though I had my YouTube channel, I still felt like I could do more. And so what did I do? In 2020, I invested in stocks. In 2021, I invested into crypto. Having my money work for me literally ignited the fire in my eyes. It gave me a sense of purpose, knowing I'm doing something beyond just YouTube. To the point where I'm teaching people about this, like some old friends that I haven't spoken to in a long time, they reach out to me because I'm the only person that they know of who studied this field. And so why not share my knowledge to those who ask for it. Now these are three similar questions. Andre Cremo asked, how did you start making GMVs? Tina Chandra asked, what inspired you to start making GMVs? And Zineb Flower, apologies if I said your name wrong, who inspired you to start this channel? A friend of mine introduced me to Hypercam 2, which is a screen recording software. We would record the YouTube uh, screen that was playing we put it into an editing software, which was Windows Movie Maker. That's how I began my GMV journey. Tina Chandra asked, what was your life like before this? Well, my life was just like any ordinary school kid, really. Before YouTube, I would attend class and do my best. Well, not really. I had a lot of distractions in my mind. One, I hated the feeling of going to school. But luckily, there are good people I appreciate there. At least that kept me coming back. And two, I just wanted to be an adult, to grow up. As adults, you're not limited to do things you've always wanted to do as a child. One, Hi. you're legal to drink, even though I'm not an alcoholic. Or two, you get to go to the clubs. 
even though I never really went to any A-level parties they used to host. These were the times when I was just a kid, wandering around like a lost soul or something, confused on what to do with my life and it seemed impossible to change because I didn't really have anyone that I could look up to who's doing what I wanted to do. It wasn't until 2015 when I discovered my chosen teachers. They opened the doors to so many opportunities. It was really just seeing the world through their eyes, having the right mindset to become successful. And so, I learned from the best and to this day, I continue to apply their teachings to my everyday life. Jaluka Susmeli asked, which country do you come from? Hello from Italy. Well, hello there. So I'm situated in United Kingdom, specifically South Wales. If you ever come down to visit, hit me up. I can show you around Cardiff or Swansea. I know those places like a massive playground. Atasham MVs asked, what's your age? I'm 23 years old. When are you going to get married? Unfortunately, I don't plan on getting married at all. I don't see much benefits as a man in marriage. Maybe tax marriage benefits, but apart from that, all the benefits goes to the wifey, waifu, and I'm not so keen in going down this route. He also asked, can you do both things parallel, aim and love? I had to ask him what he meant by that and he basically said, can you work on your passions and be in love in the same time? And my answer for that is, yes you can. If you're like me who likes to go out and interact with people, then you will find time for yourself, working on yourself, your passions and creations, aka your aim. Meanwhile, also find time for the people that you want in your journey, whether it be your loved ones or not. Now it's up to them if they want to stick around and it's also up to you how well you interact with them. The bottom line is, do they trust you? If they do, take the lead, alpha male. Yes. And then he also asked, is trading better than doing YouTube? That's a good question. So for all those who don't know, I also trade the stock market in my spare time outside of YouTube. I run a YouTube channel, this, this channel right here, Jackass Edit, and I also trade stocks. Buy stocks when they're low and sell them when they're high. And depending on how much you've invested, you can make a lot of money from the power of compound interest. Now for me personally, I still think YouTube is better than me trading the stock market. It's a lot better for your mental health knowing that your investment isn't going down in red all the time. YouTube is a lot more entertaining and fun than trading the stock market. Nad Art, where do you see yourself in 10 years time? That's a good question. And I like it because this reminds me of those typical interview questions you do with jobs. Where do you see yourself in five years time? And then you give them a bullshit answer. So basically, where do I see myself in 10 years time? I see myself doing exactly what I'm doing now, but at a greater level. You know what they say, the secret to your future is hidden in your daily routines. Taku Brendan asked, can you do game comparison of different game characters with other games to see who is better? Unfortunately, that's not what I really do on this channel. I don't talk about game subjects here unless it's my Q&A or something. But I do have a good friend who does something like this. Shout out to Gaming Generations. He was the first, one of the first GMV editors to make exclusive GMVs on this Jackers Edit channel. Egyptian Pharaoh asked, what is your favorite game? Lately, I've been playing a lot of Mordau. It's been like that since 2019. Greetings, my friend. Hello, my friend. Pretty funny, right? Yes, I agree! Yes! Just random things. What was your favorite song that you made a GMV for? I love this question because there's a lot of good songs that I made a GMV for this year. It has to be a tie between I'm dangerous and everything is beautiful. On one hand, 
GMV I'm Dangerous is all about the blood pumping action explosion. That's the whole theme. Meanwhile, GMV Everything is Beautiful is all about getting out of a dark place and seeing the beautiful things in life. Everything is beautiful. So it's a tie between those two. GMV I'm Dangerous and GMV Everything is Beautiful. Shadow Death Blade 93 he asked, What do you think of the Steam store of all the games there including the Valve games such as Half-Life and Epic Games Unreal series? Now I'm not too fussed on what, which company that I choose to play my games, as long as I can download and play the games on their platform, I'm willing to use just that. So I have no saying in this question. But the other one that he also asked was, what do you think of Genin Impact as a game's story? I've never played that game, I have seen the gameplays and I know what it is, but maybe in a near future when I do play it, I'll let you know again on what I think of the story. It does look like a fun game to play though actually. Which game was the very first game you've ever played in history? I can't remember exactly the first game I've played, but I do remember though the first game I played on PlayStation 1, which is Tekken. I remember playing as the character King, he was my favourite. Gamestead asked, for editing, which software do you use primarily and secondarily if there is? I don't have a secondarily editing software. The editing software that I've always been using is Vegas Pro. And how much time do you usually take to finish a GMV? Nowadays it takes roughly two hours, but you know, rendering takes much longer, especially when I'm upscaling it to 4K, that can take 45 minutes. After I've upscaled it into 4K, I turn that GMV into 60 FPS, 60 frames per second. What's your PC specs? The graphics card that I'm using is the RTX 3080 Ti. It doesn't lag when I edit 4K footages as long as I use proxy. If you ever work on editing videos, I highly recommend you get yourself a powerful graphics card. Relax Edit Worlds asked, what are you aiming for besides being a YouTuber? So what are my ultimate aim in life? To live in peace, because one can only assume when you live in peace, you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to worry about paying the bills, you don't have to worry about inflation, or waking up to an alarm clock. One of the things that I learned from my teachers was to live life like you are living in a holiday, every day of your life. And so, rather than being a YouTuber, one of the ways that I'm making money passively is crypto mining. And so my aim is to build a crypto mining farm. Crypto mining is when you have a bunch of graphics cards, computers, solving complicated mathematical equations within a blockchain, whether that be Ethereum or Ravencoin, or in this case, Bitcoin. And so I get rewarded for each coin that I've mined. Each coin has an intrinsic value to the US dollar, or in my case, the British pounds. And that right there is how I make passive income. Now, I don't expect you to understand what I just said. I'm speaking a different language here. Crypto mining is a way of making passive income. If you can't find ways to make money while you sleep, then you will work until you die. Pretty damn deep, huh? Certainly. Samu Shaw said, where do you get your anime videos to add in? Share that source to me and once again, your contents are really awesome. You're awesome. So I don't really make anime music videos, AMVs, I make GMVs. All the game clips can be found on YouTube. One of the things, the programs that I use is 4K Video Downloader. You can use that to download YouTube videos if you like. Uka Uka said this, you are doing a great job, but try not to use old sources as it becomes repetitive. As someone who likes GMVs and AMV, there are some scenes that are repeatedly quite often. Luthiel game, the angel fight scene, sudden attack, gamer girl gets ambushed scene, KDA, League of Legends song, hitman fighting nun scenes, or have I become too nerd? You brought up a great point. When I make my GMVs, I try not to use too much of the same clips that 
have been used in many GMVs on YouTube already because you know there's nothing unique about it when everyone's using the same clips all the time. So I always try find clips that are not often used in GMVs. You know, we can't help it. If it's that popular, then it must be that good, right? Well, maybe not all the time. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right. And the last question comes from Junior Lennon. Second question is, the income that you earn now on your YouTube channel, does it sustain your living? Is it better than an average office job? To answer your second question, <laughs> yes, fortunately for me, I'm at the point in my life where this surpasses minimum wage to the point where you could almost consider this as a full-time job. At least that's how I see it. This is a business for me. To answer your first question, do you think you can rely on YouTube channel for future living? Can it still keep its pace and generate an income worth living for? I'm going to show you my YouTube analytics. They want to say my name, but they holding back. They want to say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do that fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. Got to unpack all these shit I've been chasing. I got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather leave them be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said. Yes, it is possible to be a full-time GMV editor as I've proven it with the results that I've just shown you. But this wouldn't have been possible without the help of the exclusive GMVs that I receive for this channel. Shout out to every talented video editors out there that has contributed to this channel. I do remember when I started out in 2011, 2012, it seemed almost impossible because I didn't see anyone that I could look up to who's doing exactly that, who was being a full-time GMV editor. I did not see a single editor on YouTube who is making a full-time living just for uploading GMV videos on YouTube. It's like, whoa, this is completely new. And so I took the time, the dedication to the point where I quit that job in 2018 to pursue doing YouTube full time. Even though back then I was only making 50 cents a day, I truly believe that there is something here, that there is a niche, an audience, something that people can enjoy watching. And to this day, I do receive emails from people, comments also on how much that they truly appreciate these videos. When the lockdown happened, so many people got upset, got affected negatively. Some went to YouTube and looked at GMVs and got inspired and, you know, uplifted from the music on these videos. And I truly appreciate every single people here that's shown their support to my channel and also other GMV channels. As Raj Dibazar said, my number one teacher of life, be the best and f*** the rest. <laughs> See you next time. I don't know what I was thinking. How's it supposed to feel?